already, now you're thinking about projection, and now the leaning isn't happening. I, I'm watching it. It's, it's interesting because I just feel like the, the leaning is just a natural part of the psychic, but a lot of people now are doing this, and they're like standing straight up. So I'm throwing my body into my opponent, but I'm still going to lean as I do it. That's going to give me much more power. Again, it's, it's those compound movements. They're really pretty devastating if they work together. You can't always fit multiple body actions together. Sometimes specific actions will, will work against each other. They try to drop and rise at the same time, see what happens. Uh, but if it's appropriate and you can combine the actions, you can enhance the power of the technique. And that's what I'm showing you. We've learned how we can project our mats when we're striking. We've learned how leaning is the major body action when you're kicking. And now these particular side kicks incorporate both. So I'm projecting in and my mass. Look what happens with the crossover side kick too, by the way. Once I cross in and I throw the kick, I'm still projecting forward. With the slide up, I'm still projecting forward, but not quite as much. Your crossover is your longest footwork step. So when you cross over, you get a little bit, a little bit greater projection compared to just the slide up side kick. So I cross over and kick. One extra tip I wasn't going to get into. Start thinking about how your upper body can actually work to lend power into your lower body, into the kicking. Some people like to kick like this and just keep their hands stationary. You're not going to get as much power. You want all your limbs are working to enhance the power within your techniques. Each part of our body has an assignment that's designed to enhance the technique. Let's go. We'll do it at me. What hurts more, the point of the pencil or the eraser? The point. The point. Smaller area, same force over, the, uh, over a smaller area is going to do more damage. How many of you know that? Well, if you know that, why am I seeing so many people kicking like this with their whole foot? I want you to kick. Also, don't think, okay, I'll kick with the ball of my foot. Look at where the mass of my leg is right behind. Is it behind the ball of my foot when I'm doing this kick? Or is it behind the heel? Get all that, we call it backup mass. Don't hit with the eraser. Get a focused area, your heel. And get that backup mass into place. So when I kick, it's, let's do this again, come this way, look. Okay. It's this. My toes are pulled back. When I hit, it's my heel that's impacting. You do that, you foul all the other principles I've given you tonight, and that will be truly an incredibly devastating kick.